Grade 1 Magistrate Moses Nabend has extended lawyer Nicholas Opio's bail until 28th of this month following his return to court in accordance with instructions issued to him. However, Nabende ordered the prosecution to speed up investigations in the case. Um, at the first hearing, we mentioned to His Worship that uh, the state should not take the mention process for granted or adjournments for purposes of investigations for granted. Um, we've repeated that position in summary here. Opio, who is also the executive director of Chapter 4 Uganda, was on 22nd December arrested on allegations that on 8th October 2020 at Absa Branch Garden City in Kampala, he received 340,000 US dollars. The money was allegedly part of the funds he knew to be produced of crime. look forward to defending ourselves in this courthouse. We believe that uh, these charges are without basis, but um, we we'll wait to see what happens in this court. Also in court, Lord Mayor Eyasukwago expressed his dissatisfaction with the manner in which Justice Musa Sekana handled his petition, chairing the ban on campaigns in the 13 districts due to the growing rate of COVID-19 infections. Now the judge is saying there is a state of emergence in Kampala and in those districts, which state of emergence has not been expressly declared by the president or by parliament as the law provides. This is very, very absurd. Lukwago, who had sought to reverse the Electoral Commission decision to stop campaigns in 13 districts, was unhappy with the court ruling. One may think it would be a mortal case, but uh, it sets a very, very bad precedent on the enjoyment of those rights, the freedom of assembly, freedom of association, and the right to fair hearing. Elsewhere, court set January 14, 2021 as a date when the court will decide on whether to issue an injunction against media council following an application by the Eta's Guild. I think uh, somehow it does not help us so much because uh, in a way the, the ruling will be just explaining whether the decision was legal or not legal. But uh, the events would have uh, already taken place. Uh, I mean, that's, that's on election day. So, but uh, nevertheless, if court makes a, a decision that favors us, uh, it means that uh, on that day, whoever uh, is not accredited uh, by media council can continue to, uh, to do the work he's supposed to do with or without reputation of the media council. The move means journalists hoping to cover the general elections must obtain media council accreditation. Raymond Tamale, NTV.